Hey guys, Jno Zero. How you doing? I hope all is well in your part of the world, wherever you are today. Um, I think today's June the 4th or something like that. 2014, I'm doing a mid-morning coffee chat here. Mm. Holy crap. Good coffee. Um, been a couple of days since I put anything out. I just haven't been, uh, I injured my shoulder somehow, I'm not quite sure if I tore a muscle or, or what I did, but I've been taking it easy for a couple of days, trying to let it heal up a little bit. Uh, it happened uh, pretty much perfect timing because we just finished getting everything into the garden and I have a couple of days where I can kind of relax for a second. And then uh, I need to get back into doing some stuff here, pain or no pain, probably by the end of the day I'll be back up and going just because there's only so much time you can sit around and and not get anything done and still be productive so anyway that, that's the reason why I haven't put anything out for a couple of days uh, most of the time my videos are just about what we're doing around here you know uh, uh, on a daily basis but I did get a new inverter for my solar system and I got some videos coming up about we're gonna be doing some uh, improvements and uh, and changing around my little solar system here to make it a little more efficient so uh, we'll be doing those videos here real soon plus uh, we had a couple of requests on, uh, you know, piecing out and parting out whenever I'm butchering my, butchering my chickens. Uh, so we'll be we'll be doing some videos on that stuff too. So a uh, couple of questions. Um, some folks have been asking about my little sun oven that I use all the time. Uh, we'll be using it today. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get some rain this afternoon, but uh, we'll see. But in the meantime, we'll be using it. Um, and people want to know where where they can get one. The sticker on the back of my sun oven says uh, the Solar Oven Society, and I'll leave a link in the description um, to their website where you can uh, go and order one of those sun ovens. Uh, it's a great investment. I use mine all the time, um, and I love them. I, I, um, I found that, especially when you're cooking like meats, roasts, and stuff like that, you know, the sun, it, the sun oven is such an easy, gentle heat um, that it just really, really good really really good for roasting and making stews and uh, just cooking everything because it's nice easy the meat is really tender and juicy when it comes out it's not you know it's not being forced uh, for lack of a better term you know it's not all mm, uh, like when you turn your oven on and it's at 300 degrees you know that's artificial heat this here is just a nice easy all day afternoon slow cook and it's really I really 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 love that sun oven so, and like I said, I'll leave a link in the bottom there in the description box. Uh, somebody asked me what I think about the VA and the veterans, the issues that they're having right now. That's what I think about all that. I don't want to get started because I don't want this video to turn into a rant. Um, but, you know, when you, uh, when, when you ask people, when you ask veterans to enlist... Uh, and do the country service and you make promises to that individual whenever they enlist uh, and they hold up their end of the deal then you are supposed to hold up to your end of the deal uh, that's how that kind of stuff's supposed to work it just uh, it really disgusts me how this administration and our government is treating our veterans uh, whether it be the veterans who have retired after an entire lifetime of service to this country, now they're cutting their pensions and cutting their benefits, or whether it be the old the, the old veterans who are sitting in a waiting room for God knows how long, or on some kind of damn waiting list for who knows how long to get the care that they need, uh, that they were promised by our government they was going to get. It just, uh, you know, these the, the veterans... There's been so many dudes who have sacrificed everything, you know. Uh, a lot of us come home and uh, everything's hunky-dory. Uh, we may have a few issues here and there, but uh, some of some fellas have a lot harder issue to deal with. You know, some guys get injured badly. Uh, and they uh, have every right to expect that the government that sent them there uh, will help them take care of that. And uh, they're not getting that. And it really makes me mad. It really makes me mad. So, uh, like I said, I don't want to get into all that because it'll turn into a rant and I don't want to rant. <coughs> but the way that our veterans are being handled and treated is just really disgusting. 
Um, do I wish I was wealthy? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, do I wish I had a little more money than what I do? Um, well, yeah, of course. Everybody, you know, I've got a lot of projects that I that I want to do that uh, that I can't get done as fast as I'd like to because of lack of money and lack of materials. Um, but that's not how I define wealthy. Um, if 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 you define wealthy as having money, then yes, I am by no means anywhere close to being wealthy, not even a little. But I define wealthy as You know, we have a roof, I have good kids, we have, my wife is still with us, I have good friends, we're all fed, we go to bed, in a bed every night, with full bellies. What else is there? Everything, in my opinion, everything else is just gravy on top of the biscuit, man. Um, I think that I am one of the wealthiest people that I know, as far as, as far as that goes. I, uh, I, uh... I don't really know how to answer that question. Yeah, uh, we have money troubles, but who doesn't? You know, everybody does, and sometimes, uh, you know, things will get done when they're supposed to get done. God will provide, and He always has, and He always will, and that's where I put my faith, um, and we'll, we'll get by. And everything else, like I said, everything else is just, uh, you know, gravy on the biscuit. So, I'm uh, not really quite sure how to answer that question. Um, a lot of people think that money is where power comes from, and for a lot of people, it's true. A lot of people, uh, you know, they worship the dollar rather than worship God, or they think that their power comes from their money. Uh, the politicians and all that are always after more money this and more money that. But is that that's not where true power comes from. You know, we as individuals, me as a person, to me, power comes from, power over me comes from where I let it come from, uh, which is God and my mom. <laughs> it, it's not, it's not, when I, I have spoken to my senators and my representatives, uh, well, they used to be senators and representatives, on the phone, and one of them said to me, well, you can't speak to me like that, I'm a sitting U.S. Senator. That don't impress me, Sarah Scooter, I'm not impressed. I don't care how much money you have. I don't care that you're a sitting senator. You have no power over me because I'm not going to let you have power over me. You're a dude just like I'm a dude. And, uh, you know, just because you're a sitting U.S. senator and you've got millions and millions of dollars, that don't impress me. I'm sorry. I'm not impressed. If, uh, if you want to impress me, then you need to eat a dozen apples and shit a fruit salad. That will impress the hell out of me. <laughs> but other than that, you're just a dude. And you are hired by us, the people. So you need to remember where the true power is. We, the individuals, have the power. And they have. there's been laws that are passed that I don't agree with. So I don't follow that particular law. Like I say, you know, I do my own little private rebellion. You know, if, if I don't think that a law is applicable, applicable to me, or I don't think that a law is just, and it's a, a just law, uh, then... You know, I'm out here in the hills. I do my own thing. And uh, sometimes I've had to pay tickets and I've had this and that happen because of that particular not wanting to follow a particular law. But that's the price that I pay sometimes. I'm not going to let somebody have power over me just because they say I have power over you. Well, no, you don't. You don't have power over me because you have lots of money or because you're uh, whatever. Um, I have power over myself, and I have my own choices that I make, and I make my own decisions, and to me, that is more important than having some senator tell me, well, you need to ride a motorcycle wearing a helmet, or you need to do this, or you need to do that, because I know what's best, because I'm a senator, is my response to that. I will make my own decisions, thank you very much. Obviously, there's laws out there that, you know, needed to be followed, and God's laws need to be followed. But all this other little petty crap that they're trying to throw out there, it's not for me. And I will do what I feel is right for me and my family on my property out here in the hills. So, there you go. Uh, not quite else what, not quite sure what else, that's all I've got for questions right now. Um, uh, like I said, uh, I, hope these, I hope these help. I uh, hope these coffee chats are enjoyable. Uh, I hope I don't rant on too much. Um, and like I said, as soon as I kind of start feeling a little bit better, get my shoulder kind of back in shape a little bit, then uh, uh, we'll get back after it, and I'll start putting, you know, putting out videos um, 
about what we're doing whenever I get a chance. So, plus it's starting to get into the summertime and it's starting to get warm and muggy. So, uh, you know, get get ready to watch me sweat and stuff like that because that's what big guys do in the in the heat. So, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope everybody has a, a wonderful, great day. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope everything is well and uh, God bless you, men. Buzz, buzz, the end.